Welcome to this week's peek into tomorrow. I'm Dave Graveline and this is ITTV. Don't forget about our big cool into tomorrow hot summer giveaway. If you want to enter, all you have to do is participate on our weekly radio show by letting us hear you. Call the Ask Dave hotline anytime with any tech questions or advice for our listeners. 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. Make a note or use our free app and send an audio question. We've still got some really cool stuff that we're sending out with this big giveaway, like 10-inch Asus tablets, Yamaha receivers and sound bars, Martian smartwatches, and a whole lot more. You know you want some, so participate. With the summer in full swing, air conditioners are working overtime around most of the country. There's been a lot of talk lately about the Nest Wi-Fi thermostat, now owned by Google. But there's another fun new Wi-Fi color touchscreen thermostat that deserves our attention in this week's Product Spotlight. Honeywell managed to produce an industry first, a voice-activated, cloud-connected thermostat for do-it-yourself homeowners. It's one of the latest connected home innovations that we want to share with you because not only can you access it from anywhere, which I love, but you can talk to it in your home and it follows your commands most of the time. This smart thermostat with voice control utilizes advanced far field voice control technology, which can break through some of the ambient noise of a busy household and recognize your commands like Make it 72 degrees. One moment, please. Lowering to 72 degrees. Or make it much warmer. One moment, please. Raising to 76 degrees. After the relatively easy installation, of course, following instructions, safely turning off the circuit breakers, and then properly matching the right wires to the correct terminals, the thermostat immediately recognizes your voice and adjusts the temperature setting based on your request. We're told that this is the first cloud-based voice-controlled solution that will get smarter over time, adding more commands based on its interactions with homeowners. The Wi-Fi thermostat with voice control also lets design-focused homeowners customize it to match or accent your home decor. You can use a predefined background or select custom and then determine your own color scheme for your own tastes. This Honeywell thermostat also offers Wi-Fi connectivity from anywhere you have internet access, which I find particularly useful, especially because I travel for our show so much. The ability to check and adjust the temperature, especially when I'm headed home at an odd time, for example, using the iOS or Android app is very cool. You can also set various alerts, like if the temperature or humidity gets too high or too low or it's time to change your air filter, and it will send you notifications. The system also allows you to regulate your energy usage and home comfort through your smartphone, and shows you the outside temp and humidity on both the touchscreen and the apps. Of course, you can also set vacation, holiday, and other event schedules, and override and adjust any settings needed anytime. For example, one of the features that I use often is when I'm leaving the house earlier than normal, I can tell the thermostat and it will adjust to the next program temp right away, saving energy. Hello, thermostat. Hello, please say a command. I'm leaving. One moment, please. Okay, leaving. Setting to 77 degrees. Smart Response is a feature that allows the thermostat to learn how long the system takes to reach a temp that you previously programmed, so that temperature is reached at the time you set. I think their app could easily eliminate one of the three initial screens just to make a quick adjustment, but otherwise, it works very well. You can also access your smart thermostat, of course, using a computer. In spite of the fact that the TV and occasional voices in the living room can set it off, all in all, we like the Honeywell Wi-Fi Color Touchscreen Programmable Voice Control Thermostat, even in spite of its long name. 
It's easy to configure, schedule, and use, and currently available for just under $300. What do you think? Is it time that you switch to a newer high-tech thermostat in your home? If you have, tell us your experience so we can share it on the air. Leave your comments below on this video or call into our 24-7 Ask Dave hotline anytime. Now let's jump aboard our tech time machine. Chris is up next to take us into yesterday with his feature, This Week in Tech History. Among other things, he reminds us of a product that revolutionized offices around the world. This week in 1906, the Victor Talking Machine Company of Camden, New Jersey began to manufacture the Victrola, or record player. The hand-cranked unit, complete with horn cabinet, sold for about $200, and that'd be about $4,800 today. In 1915 this week, Charles Kettering of Detroit, Michigan patented the electric automobile self-starter. And it's a good thing he did, or we might still be cranking our cars by hand. In 1937, the first FM radio construction permit was issued. It went to W1XOJ in Boston, Massachusetts. The station went on the air as WGTR for General Tire and Rubber in 1941. In 1985, the machine that revolutionized the world's offices, the original Xerox 914 copier, took its place among the honored machines of other eras at the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of American History. The document copier had been formally introduced to the world in March of 1960. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA Berlin, the global innovation show for consumer electronics and home appliances. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Want to connect with us anytime? Then get social with us. Stop by our Facebook page at fb.com slash into tomorrow. It only takes a second to hit that like button. Then check out our official Twitter feed, at IT Radio Show. We often have special giveaways just for our social media followers. You can also subscribe to our weekly ITTV videos at myittv.com, so you don't miss a thing. Links to all of our social media sites are available on our main page at intotomorrow.com. And remember our free once a week tech newsletter too. Sign up right now on our main page at intotomorrow.com. As always, we promise never to share your email address with anyone. That'll wrap it up for this week's trip into tomorrow. I'm Dave Graveline. Until next week, when you'll find us right here, we'll catch you on the radio and of course online. Do not make it the blooper.